The tank got a lot heavier, but the engine has grown in power. Frankly speaking, it feels like my car is accelerating much slower than this 46-ton behemoth. Driving through a snowfield is gorgeous. The ride is so smooth as if there was no snow under the tracks, but a whole lot of ice cream. What is the maximum speed? I mean, on this particular field when the ground is covered with snow. Well, if you go along a straight line and if you have a firm ground, it's going to be about 60 to 65 kilometers per hour. Apart from two seven-speed gearboxes, the machine has a multiplying gear. Siberian engineers call it a guitar. They think it looks like a musical instrument. This device transmits drive from the engine to the gearboxes. Now the tank is being driven in the fifth gear and it is steering very well, much better than the second or third. This is bad, my face is freezing. I can hardly move my lips. I can't even hear my voice. And, and oh my God, I, I think I can't feel my face. Actually, I, I feel nothing. The ride was fun, but in an hour we felt like we could get some more out of it. This T-72B3 is a champion. It has been given a title in a tank biathlon contest, and here is its rival, a regular T-72. Alex A is going to drive this machine. The veteran deserves a handicap, so it starts first. No matter what happens, I don't want to lose. I have a plan to win the race. I am going to use the exhaust smoke system for civilian purposes. There is a special button which directs a portion of fuel to the exhaust manifold. The fuel vapors then mix with the exhaust gas. This hot gas mixture is blown away to the cold environment, thus forming a thick cloud of fog. I'm approaching Alex A. I hope the fifth gear will help me to win. We are going fast, but it's not even full throttle. I have a little surprise for Alex A. Here it is, the smoke screen. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. I bet he doesn't see a thing from there. Actually, I don't see him either, but I'm definitely ahead of him. Yeah, Siberia, speed and tanks. This is what a man needs after a hard working day. I've won the race, but I haven't held the title. A mighty and powerful T-80 has come to the field. It looks like an agile puppy running circles around an old dog. I've tried to make the same maneuvers, but I haven't managed to do it right. First, I don't have enough experience. Second, the T-80 has a bigger and more powerful gas turbine engine. All in all, it's time to go back to the plant where they continue working on the improvement of the T-72.